Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial. Today we will be talking about file sharing in Nextcloud. So if you have installed your Nextcloud either for home use or maybe for your small business, um, you might want to share a file or group of files with someone, a friend, a family member or your business partners. Nextcloud makes it easy for you to share files securely with other people just like you would do with OneDrive and other um, services out there but this is free and it is open source. So in order for you to do this there's a couple of things that I recommend that you set up before you get this done. The first one is for you to actually have an email server set up so if you haven't done that already, you want to go to administration, uh, you want to go to basic settings, and you want to follow the instructions to set up your email server. It is pretty easy. If you use a Gmail account, all you need to do is go into your Google account and um, request an application password and get that set up. Once that's done, the other thing I recommend you do is go into your apps and there is an application that I want you all to download that is going to help you customize your share links. So you want to search for um, configurable share links and if you don't already have that installed, um, you want to download and enable this application. Once you're done with that, the next thing we want to do is now go to our files and now we can start sharing as we want so actually before we start sharing i want to show you some default settings that you can con configure in your next cloud as an administrator so if your next cloud server is used by multiple users you can basically have everyone doing the same thing and making sure your files are saved at every moment in time so a lot of the times users or you might be sharing these files and folders and you forget to unshare them. Now they're out there. If someone else has the link and the or password, they can be able to access these share files. Um, in the sharing settings, you can do a lot of configurations that include setting a default expiration date for your share files. So if you have a share file, um, you can set an expiration date for that file to expire every time someone shares a file for it to expire automatically every seven days or two days or 30 days however you want to do it um, you can also uh, kind of like have nextcloud enforce password protection so every time your users or you send out a share or create a share a password is generated for you and you can also generate your own password if you don't like the passwords nextcloud generate um, another thing you can do is add like a disclaimer for um, when you create like a share page or a share link for users to upload files you can add a, a disclaimer I just have mine for this is your warning please be nice you can put something more professional in there and that's great uh, you can also configure default share permissions. You can give the create, change, or delete, or reshare permissions. In my case, I have all of them turned off because I want to actually be able to assign the share permissions myself. Being said, we're going to head over to our files, and now we're going to start sharing some folders and files. So as you can see, I have multiple folders in here and we're only going to worry about the movies folder. So for this movies folder, um, I have a couple of pictures in there. Obviously, they're pictures of very good looking cats. And so we're going to share them. The first thing we want to note is if you want to create a share, be it for a file or a folder, you want to look for the three dots on the right hand side of the folder or the file and you select that option then you can select details and now you'll be presented with this screen for those of you who followed my recommendation and downloaded the custom public link you get an extra option on here if you did not then you only get the three first options also 
you can share using the name for names you can only select the names for users that are in your next cloud instance so if you have 10 users they can use this to share within themselves by entering the names you can also share via email this is where my other recommendation comes in for you to download um sorry for you to configure the next cloud email server in this case when you type in any email it doesn't matter if the user is uh, in your next cloud or not next cloud is going to send them a link of the share and if you added a password it's also going to send that password to them federated or cloud id this would be if you wanted to share with another next cloud server so the first thing we can do is we'll look at the first option you can create a simple share link by just selecting the plus option the plus option creates a share and the link is copied so you can just copy when you create the share next cloud automatically copies the link and you can paste it on the browser and then now you can be able to access the file whoever has this link can access the files or they can download the files because we haven't given this this for right now has permissions to view and download okay um, if you click on the three dots next to it, you can see there's some changes you can make on here. You can change the label name, which is going to be this on here. If you want to remove those movies, you can call it a different name. Um, you can assign permissions. Right now, users have the read-only permissions and they can download. So we can hide the download option. If we only want users to read, we can allow um, uploads and editing and um, obviously we can do file drop only we can set expiration dates we can set a password we can add a note to the recipient okay so for right now since we uh, marked off to remove downloads you can see that download option disappeared now i can only view the pictures i can't do any downloads the next option for sharing uh, you can also share with an internal link this you can give this um, to someone who you can share with someone who already has access to your next cloud instance which is kind of like the same entering the user's name um, the third option is by using the email address remember we talked about sending uh, creating a share and next cloud sends out the email this is where it works so I'm just going to type in my email on here Okay, and once I do that, if I hit the send um, email button on the right side, Nextcloud is going to send out an email to that email address. Okay, if we look into my email, I have just one email and it says, Hey, by the way, um, TT admin shared a file with you. And if I click on open, you can see that everything in that folder was shared and I have the option to download or to view the files if we go back into that person's email we can change the permissions anytime we can go and now we can change the permissions to read only and then hide the downloads and we can also add a password and we can add uh, the expiration date we'll just let it expire at the end of the day today so if we go back to our email you are going to see if we refresh okay I didn't save that so once you do that you need to exit so it saves and if we refresh you can see now that my next cloud sends out an email saying hey by the way a password has been added to that share and it sends me the password as well really nice so I don't have to call the user and give them the password um, now if I go back and refresh or if I just go back to that email go back to our first email and if I click on that link you can see Nextcloud now wants a password for that share so if I paste in that password we are now able to access the, sh the shared files again uh, the next thing you can do here is you can change this share to only be for uploads only so you don't want even though there's um 
there's um how you call them there's files inside of that folder you don't want the user to be able to see the files you only want them to be able to upload and not see the files in that folder or in that share so once we do that and we save it if we go back and refresh this page you can see now we're given the option just to drop a file or select the file for uploads and then you can add the new file it also gives you the option of terms of service where we spoke about at the beginning of this video um, in the administrative settings you can change this to include something more professional like telling the user your terms of service wh while uploading files on your server a lot of the times users don't read that anyways so it doesn't really matter uh, the next thing you can do on here is create custom a share link for public so if you're just going to create a public link for example if I wanted to create a folder and share to everyone in this YouTube channel I can create a public link and let's say I can add it on here uh, YouTube and I'll use the plus if anyone wanted to access my um, share all they need to do is type my um, next clouds name dash s and then youtube this is where that application comes in because if you look at the two if you go to the previous share you can see um, we get random string of characters but in this other one that we created we can now create a custom link so that way it is easy for users to remember if they were going to want to quickly access or download something or view something on that you've shared with them so now that you've shared your files, if you did not already configure um, automatic expiration to be able to unshare those files automatically, what you can do if you want to unshare those files, you can come back into the folder, go to the three dots, go to details, and where it says uh, sharing, uh, you're going to see everyone that you've shared with. So you just click on the three dots and you go below, you select the unshare option. You do the same for every single one of them. And uh, if anyone tries to access those share files now, they can't access them anymore because you've removed them. So that brings us to the end of this video. If you have any questions, do not forget to leave it down at the comment section below. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel.